Hello again! In this video I want to give you a quick overview over my command block parser, a tool intended for people that are working on larger command block setups. The idea for this is not new and certainly not mine. Personally I got introduced to it by Tosha and his redstone programming language, which was a huge asset for some of my past projects. But there are some features that I like to have that are currently not part of RPL, that plus the challenge it provided made me create my own version. CBP. For those new to this I need to clarify. This tool won't make using command blocks any easier, in fact it adds a level of difficulty. However it can make things more comfortable for people that otherwise would work on dozens or even hundreds of command blocks by hand. I should probably start by giving you some examples. Here you can see the source code for Ice Runner, a PvP map that we recently published. And this is what the code turns into. Another program, something QPAMS and I worked on. These command blocks create black holes. And something that has nothing to do with Minecraft and only uses the features of the language, a brainfuck interpreter. If you want to try CBP, you can find a link to the download in the description below. It contains not only the tool, but also full documentation, which is a very basic one, but covers every detail this language has to offer. And now let's have a closer look at some of the features. Groups. The way CPP organizes command blocks is by combining them in groups. All command blocks inside a group are meant to be activated in the same game tick using fill commands. Your finished program will be a combination of one or more of those. To create a group, start line with a colon and a name, followed by a description of its intended shape. You can choose between one and two dimensional setups and limit the size in all dimensions. All groups will be automatically arranged for the final schematic. Import. To improve the structure of your program or allow for better organization of team projects, you can use import. It will read the content of another file and include it into its own code. Define. One of the most useful features. It can either be used for constant values or extended by parameters to serve as a macro. Loop. Loops can repeat code segments while simultaneously cycling through a predefined list of values and or numbers. Functions Functions are like a combination of import and define. Like import, they insert several lines of code when called. And like with define, you can add parameters to them. Use This feature is intended for parts of the code where several lines start the same way. Scoreboard in selectors you can leave out the score underscore name part and instead use the name and these operations. To set scoreboard values you have a variety of options that should make it more intuitive to use them. Execute. To use execute in a more simple way you can just add a selector in front of a command. You can also combine that with the detect option of execute. One last important feature is a special fill command. If you use the command fill followed by the name of a group you created, the system will automatically add in the coordinates necessary to target that group. You will also need to specify the blocks that should get filled and which should get replaced. That was a very quick introduction to the command block parser. If you're interested, please have a look at the documentation provided with the download. As said earlier, it's a very basic one, but it does cover more features than this video and includes some special cases. Also, if you're using CBP, please let me know if you find any bugs with it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.